So let's build an electric motor. And we have a problem here. We want an electric generator to output 250 volts. And it has an armature that is 25 centimeters in diameter. And you have two and a half kilometers of wire to put on the armature. And we want to know what size or strength of magnetic field that we're going to need. And we're going to assume that the frequency is 60 hertz, so it's standard U.S. frequency. So we have given E is equal to 250 volts, and we're doing peak here. If it was RMS, it would be, uh, we'd have to do a factor of the square root of 2. The diameter of the armature is 25 centimeters which is 0 0.25 meters the length of wire is 2.5 kilometers and that's 2,500 meters and the frequency 60 Hertz so the first thing I need to find is the circumference of the armature and that's just going to be pi times the diameter And that's pi times 0 0.25 meters. And that gives me 0 0.785 meters. So the number of loops in that I can fit around that is equal to the length of the wire we're doing a little bit of approximation here divided by the circumference and that gives me 3.183 times 10 to the third loops there's no units here because the length of the wire and the circumference both have meters as their units and those cancel out. Now the area of the loop is going to be equal to pi times the diameter of the armature divided by 2 and we're going to square that and that comes out to be 0 0.049 meters squared omega is just 2 pi times the frequency and that equals 376.991 per second so that's equal to 377 per second and now I can find the magnetic field strength from the formula for a uh, motor remember that that was equal to n b a um, 
Now it's E equals NBA omega sine omega T plus theta naught. I really am not worried about this sine function. I'm only worried about peak. So I just need to deal with this part. So V is just going to be induced voltage divided by the number of loops times the area times of the loop times omega. Insert our values. got 377 per second and that makes our magnetic field strength that we need 4.244 times 10 to the minus 3 Teslas or that's 4.244 milliteslas. So the magnetic field strength doesn't really need to be that strong because we have so many loops and the uh, the uh, area is fairly small also but uh, we just have to wrap a lot of wire create all those loops and we can get the potential out that we want.